Now, it is no news that many arts and commercial students find calculations difficult. Most persons are okay with the theoretical part. You can read it and understand it. But when it comes to calculations, a lot of students have issue, and that's where the problem lies. Now, not that calculations are difficult. As far as I'm concerned, calculation part of these subjects are actually easier. But the fear of that calculation, or due to your poor background, it's become hard for you to embrace calculation or anything that has to do with solving. So that's why I've come with this series to solve problems in economics and other arts uh, subjects that require calculation. And I will break it down to the simplest form for you to understand. At the end of everything, your life will never remain the same. Remember, it's not difficult until I say so. Stay tuned. Let's solve. Question 1. <laughs> Given that the quantity demanded Q per period of time is a function of price P and that the relation is expressed as Q equals 61 minus 1 all over 3P, find the quantity demanded when price is 1, 10 naira, 2, 20 naira, 3, 30 naira, 4, 50 naira, 5, 70 naira. When you see something like this, the first thing you should do is observe the question and try to understand. From this question, we are told that a quantity is demanded for a period of time and there is what? A price. So they are showing that the relation is expressed as this, meaning this is the relationship between the quantity and the price. This is Q, quantity demanded, and this is P, which is the price. So quantity demanded is equals 61 minus 1 all over 3P. That's what is relating them. Now what are they asking us to do? They said find the quantity demanded when price is this, 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 and this. So let's say solution. And let's write down what we know. We know that Q quantity equals 61 minus 1 over 3P. Now, we say we should find the quantity demanded. Now, what is the quantity demanded? Is Q. So now, anytime they ask you to find something, it means the thing is not given or it is unknown find q because it's not given so we don't know q but we know 61 normal number we know one we know three now when you look at the question there's additional detail say so when price is this 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 and this so that means we are solving for each step when price P is 10, we solve for Q. When price P is 20, we, are, we solve for Q. When price is 30 naira, we solve for P. So this is simply substitution. Substitution means to replace. To replace something. That's what we are doing. Now, Let's try to solve this first question. Let's say this is i and q equals 61 minus 1 over 3p. So for this number 1, quantity price p equals 10 naira. So p equals 10. You can add the naira, you can leave it. So we are solving with 10. 
That is to say, anywhere we see P, we'll put 10. That's all that's required. So meaning Q equals 61 minus 1 over 3. Now instead of this P, we are now using 10. Times 10. You can use times or you put it in bracket. You are good to go. So you solve. This is the same thing as 61 minus 1 to is 60 over 3 times 10 will give you 30. So and 60 over 30 60 or 60 divided by 30 is 2. This tells you that you can even draw something like this. This is Q. This is P. So at price equals 10 Naira, quantity demanded is 2. Simple, right? So it's just substitution. We replace. Now, I assume you don't understand. It does, don't worry, let's look at the second one. As we solve, you'll be able to follow. So we solve for i. Now let's look at i i, which is 2. So at price equals 20 naira, what quantity is demanded? So now P equals 20. Q, we don't know. So we are solving, but we have every other thing we need to get quantity. So this is the relation Q is equals 61 minus 1 over 3 times P, which is 20. So this is the same thing as 60. 61 minus 1 is 60 over uh, 20 times 3 should give you 60. 60 divided by 60 is 1. So as price goes to 20 naira, quantity demanded 1. So I don't know whether this is telling you something at all. It means as the price increases, the quantity that is demanded is reducing. That's what you can see from this so far. Now let's solve for Let's solve for when P is equals 30. This number 3 now. So at P equals 30 naira. What is Q? So still the same step. Anyway, you see P put 30. 61 minus 1. 3. 30. So you are separating them. Because it's times. Series times P is 3P. So this gives you 60 all over 90. So if you can break it down, if you are done with a calculator, you can say 2 into 60. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 90 divided by 2 is 45. 2 over 3, which is the same thing as 0. 667 So that is it for this. So as price as price goes to 30, this gives you 0 0.667 or 2 over 3. Now I hope this one is clear. So let's solve for 50. So at P price equals 50, we are looking for Q and Q is equals 61 minus 1 over 3 times P. P is now 50. 50. So it should give you 60 over 3 uh, that's that should give it mass 2 over 5, which is we should give you 0 0.4. So we establish that at P is equals 
50 quantity demanded 0.4 so you see it's making sense virtually the same step will follow the same step until you get to the last one so you have your values now let's solve for when p is equal 70 so at p is equal 70 or 70 naira q equals 61 minus 1 we repeat the same thing over 3 is still there 70 so this will give you 60 minus So 60 over 210, that's, this will give you a 2 over 7 equals to 0 0.286. So that's that. So at, <laughs> without our space, so we know that <laughs> at P is equals, in your mind, this time I'm writing here, I'm writing here, put it here. But at P equals 17 error, Q. 0.8 so we've solved that and in this type of question you may be asked to comment on it if you are commenting on this question i will look at my answers at when price was uh, 10 naira quantity demanded was 2 2 as price goes to 20 naira quantity goes to 1 it decreases so meaning as price increases the quantity demanded reduces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.